Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next hockey video as we review the quarter ish remark for the Nashville Predators, who are at 28 games. The only team at 30 is the Anaheim Ducks right now, and then everybody's pretty much in between 25 to 30. So it's basically the quarter ish remark since we still have a season that the schedules are a little bit different. Um, and games are kind of off keeled a little bit more than usual due to the pandemic still being around. But I don't think anybody had the Nashville Predators pegged as, pegged as second place um, to the Minnesota Wild in the Central Division and one of the more impressive teams to watch early on in the season at 17-10-1 with 35 points. Um, John Hines, who is a coach that I have to eat crow on because personally in the past coming from the Devils, I did not think was really that good of a head coach. Um, and now he's getting all of this out of his players. He's getting Matt Duchesne to be worth the contract they paid him. He's getting Ryan Johansson to be worth the contract they paid him. Duchesne has, um, who's been banged up recently, so I have to go down and in the last couple of games. So I have to go down to click on his stats. But he, I know he has almost a points per game pace where his actual statistics are yeah, 25 points in 26 games, 13 goals, 12 assists, making him worth that contract, damn sure. They have UC Soros, who's one of the best in the league, followed by one of the best prospect goaltenders in the league in uh, Askarov. Uh, so, and then you also have uh, Ingram down here, and you also got uh, Thomas Vamaka, uh, who came from overseas, who they drafted back in 2017. So the goaltending depth is kind of endless uh, when it comes to the Nashville Predators, and Connor Ingram's down there as well. Um, David Riddich, I feel like he is a guy that they might end up trying to get a better backup for because he's barely even played because he hasn't been successful. Um, other than the one game the other night before Soros came back, he had a pretty good game the game before he came back, but minus that, he hasn't been too great this year. Uh, their defense, Yossi Fabro, love that defensive pairing. Ekholm Carrier, uh, Carrier is playing more minutes than you would expect him to play, and playing a hell of a great time as well. Uh, nine points in 25 games, playing a good overall game. Him and Ekholm seem to have found it together. Uh, Borecki and Benning, that pairing leaves some stuff to be desired. It'll be interesting to see if they try to add a little bit there. Ellie Tolvanen is hot as a firecracker. I mean, the dude is absolutely on fire. Uh, five goals, five assists, 10 points in 28 games, where I believe it was a four-game uh, goal streak um, he had now. So Ellie Tolvanen, absolutely as hot as a firecracker. Uh, Tomasino, obviously a very good player. They drafted 24th and 19, developing nicely. Mikel Gronlin playing absolutely fantastic at a points per game himself. And then Philippe Forsberg had a four-goal game, obviously, this year, and has been very solid otherwise to have 18 points in 19 games himself. As long as he can stay healthy, they're definitely in a very good spot. Uh, this is a team, though, the biggest key to it is me eating crow on John Hines because you haven't been getting the most out of Duchesne. You haven't been getting the most out of Ryan Johansson. And now, all of the sudden, um, with John Hines there, you're actually getting it to happen with these guys. And um, obviously, Johansson right now is unfortunately in COVID protocol, but he's also been basically a points-per-game guy and is a very good defensive guy on both ends where it looks like the confidence spark to him has got him playing his great overall game again where prior in Nashville, he hasn't even been as squeaky clean on defense, which has been his bread and butter in his career. So it looks like those two are getting back to their ways. Mikel Gronlin's having a career year. Uh, Forsberg's doing his thing. And then he's a guy that becomes the interesting factor, just like Drew Drow does with Calgary. Um, what do they decide to do with him? Are they going to re-sign him? And they're going to have the money to do that? Or are they going to move on from him? Because they don't have the money to do that. We'll have to see as time goes on. But this has been the quarter-ish review as Nashville's at 28 games. Of the Nashville Predators, not much they have to do. Maybe add another defenseman to help that third pairing. Maybe add a, not maybe, definitely add another goaltender unless if Connor Ingram comes up to prove himself as a backup. And or somebody that I mentioned, because obviously Askarov ain't coming up yet. Um, so... If Connor Ingram doesn't come up, the only other guy I could see coming up in short order for them would be, unless if Cooley comes up, just because he's 24, a big netminder um, out of America, but he doesn't have the experience really, would probably be Vamaka, who they got in 2017, just because he's played overseas, um, 
in the Czech Republic with the WJAC 19, uh, U19. He didn't do that great over there, but he's got experience with some of the Czech nationals, some of the greatest players from over there, and also has experience at UConn. Um, coming off of a good season last year and um, has had experience with the Everblades this year, but you would still be calling up a guy from the ECHL who hasn't figured out 100% of being born in the Czech Republic, uh, the North American game yet. So I might take that back. I might actually say the undrafted Devin Cooley, just because he obviously knows uh, playing for the Admirals, not having the best overall season, but played very good for the Everblades last year. Um, coming out of the University of Denver, he was a very good goalie there. He obviously knows the North American game more, so if it's not Ingram, I would have to actually probably take that back and say it would probably be Cooley, because Vamaka is still with the Everblades, their ECHL team, and is still figuring out the North American game. But this has been a preview, or not a preview, this has been the quarterish report of the Nashville Predators. Hell of a season for them this far. A very fun hockey team to watch, play a good defensive structure, push the pace up the ice to get their offense going. And then UC Soros is a goaltender. That is one of the more fun ones to watch. One of those remaining little guys left at 5'11", 180. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.